are there more trends coming and happening during 2021? Stick around as we get into that in the question of the day. What's going on, guys? Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. You are tuned in to the hot list. I come to you on Monday through Friday, each and every week around 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. We hang out and talk real estate. We talk properties new to the market with recent price reductions or something unique about the property that I want to share with y'all and want y'all to know. I also answer a question of the day that is submitted by a listener of the podcast. And to find out how you get your question answered, all you got to do is just stick around till the end. Finally, I recognize and thank a sponsor of the week each and every single week. And if you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the week for the hot list and getting recognized, just hang out with me for a few so I can get you some information so I, so you can uh, shoot it over to me. So thank you guys so much for jumping in. Uh, hopefully you guys are, are doing well, staying warm, dry, wherever you're located at and whatever the weather is like in your area. As you guys can see, it is a little before 12 o'clock. I have some meetings and some appointments, so I wanted to get this done sooner rather than later. The property we are talking about today is 1707 Luther Street, right here in Emporia. This is a three bed, three bath ranch style house, has 2,831 square feet of finished space, currently listed for 199,000 courtesy of Farm and Home Real Estate. Uh, this is, for those that know the area, this is in a northwest location, so very close to uh, some elementary schools, uh, the Flint Hills Mall, shopping, dining, car service, close to so many things. This one actually has a full finished basement, has a fireplace that is a gas fireplace, so a little bit of an advantage there because you don't have to cut wood, you don't have to clean up the mess. All you got to do is just light it up and go. The house is also wired for a backup generator. So that is very cool and very unique to this property. It did get a new roof in 2018. And last year, 2020, they got a, a new furnace, new garage door, and a new water heater. So if you're curious about the property, just click on the link in the description. That's going to take you right to my website so you can see the property for yourself. Check out the pictures. If you have an interest in it and you're a pre-approved buyer, let me know. Send me a message. I'll be happy to schedule a showing for you and we can take a look and tour the property in person. If you know somebody looking for a house or might be interested in the property, make sure you send this to them in text messages, DM, Facebook, wherever you can send it to them. Make sure they get a hold of it. And before I get to the question of the day, I do want to recognize and thank our sponsor of the week this week, and that is Westside Recycling. Uh, they are located at 3401 West 6th Avenue right here in Emporia. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and they've got a quick and convenient unload process to get you, get you rolling. Uh, of course, they're, they're going to offer competitive pricing uh, with the way that the market is right now. So if you are a individual or a small business, they will purchase that scrap metal from you. So all you got to do is either call them or swing by and check out their, their yard, their convenient in and out process to get you moving as quickly as they can. If you are a small business entrepreneur, sales manager, and curious how you can become a sponsor of the week, all you got to do is shoot me a message wherever you're listening to this, drop it in the comments. Uh, we will have a little bit further, more in-depth conversation to see if you are a good fit for being a sponsor of the week and can get you rolling from, from there. All right, and that brings us to my favorite portion of the hot list, and that is the question of the day. Now, the question of the day is submitted by a listener of the podcast each and every every single day. 
Uh, some of these questions will build off of one another. Uh, that's usually how, how these start. You can see that we've been talking trends for the last few weeks because you know the questions that I answered trigger a question with somebody else. And if you have a question about real estate, I guarantee you somebody else has the same question. So all you gotta do is shoot me a message wherever you're listening to this and ask me your question. Because if you have a question about real estate, others have a question about real estate. And the best way that I can help serve you and them is by answering your question, using that for content like this one and keep educating myself as well as others. So the question of the day, what home design trends are expected in 2020? Like I said, we've been we've been talking trends over the last several weeks. Oddly enough, the fourth quarter was not just great for real estate, but for the Hot List podcast as well. Uh, downloads and subscriptions really shot up during the fourth quarter, and I would like to think that it's because of the questions that are being asked and the content and answers I'm providing. We've had questions about interest rates, the market in general, any type of trends. We've discussed floor trends, moving trends, paint trends, and what buyers are expecting right now. Today we're going to discuss a more thorough and in-depth list of trends to expect in 2021. I'm sure within you know this first week of 2021, many of us ha are feeling or have felt a desperate need for a fresh start or maybe even a new beginning. Still feels like we won't be leaving our houses anytime soon just because depending on where you're at, you know, the, the COVID numbers may be continuing to rise instead of the number of recoveries rising. And for that reason, this is why a lot of the home trends have been skyrocketing. It makes sense that the home trends are increasing more than others because this is this is where we've been at and what better place to start than in your own home plus i feel like we could all use a damn good distraction right now so whether you are looking for a design overhaul or maybe you're just looking for some inspiration i've done some research and spoke with some real estate experts that are forecasting what will be the biggest home trends in 2021? And, you know, it turns out 2020 was a fairly stressful year for a lot of people. And because of that, that increased stress levels, those have been a heavy influencer in changes in desi designs, decorations, and how we live our lives. So, because of that, today we're going to talk about the top 10 trends for 2021. Now, usually something like this, I split into two episodes. I didn't want to take away anything from it. So this episode is going to be longer than most of my episodes. So I can include all 10 items in this. So sit back and let's jump in this. Starting with number 10, cozy layer vibe. Currently, there's designs that are, are swinging more traditional than they have been before over the last several years. What this means is there are warmer colors and you know, natural wood looks instead of cool grays or blue colors. Where we've been seeing white and minimalist views and decorating we're now expected to see a little bit more color showing off individual personality so it's going to be less modern styles more of the bohemian hippie style and influence which means just like most styles what was old is new again so with this you're going to expect to see more mismatched blankets and throw pillows on furniture people are embracing a design that reflects their own personality than just what is is kind of neutral 
because with COVID, people want to feel more at ease at home. During or pre-COVID, I'm sorry, pre-COVID, people had this picture in their mind, you know, that their house had to be a magazine quality home. During COVID, we've all realized that we prefer a more casual, laid back, and layered look that is that is look that has more of an aesthetic look and feel to it than it did before. Number nine, retro furniture and color palettes. During this pandemic, uh, you know, it, there's been a throwback to more of the nostalgia days than anticipated. People are seeking a little bit more comfort from the past, whether it's past of styles or simpler times. 2021, you're going to start to see some of those, um, we'll call them funky, funky colors like the, the mauve, the forest green, that burnt orange that people remember from the, the 70s, 80s, and maybe part of the 90s as well. The best way to jump on board with this and decide if this is for you, start with a quick coat of paint. Experts recommend some type of bold color and one single wall. Or you could start a little bit smaller with a like a like a bathroom or maybe maybe a bedroom and just paint your way back to simpler times of the 80s and 90s. Number eight, smart bathroom innovations. Now as as hard as we're gonna try I don't think any of us are ever going to forget the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. Grocery shelves were cleared out. Hardware improvement stores were cleared out. Four packs of Charmin toilet paper were being sold on eBay for $50 and up. And people began installing bidets till those sold out as well. While this is not our finest moment, you know, it's reality and it's what, what happened. I never embraced, never embraced a bidet. Well, you know what? Hold on to your butt cheeks. This was the start of the smart bathroom trend in, in 2020 and continuing through 21. 2021 is expected to bring all kinds of new bathroom innovations Homeowners are focusing more on personal hygiene than ever before, which is sad when you think about it because it's 2020 and I'm, I'm almost 40 and I learned basic hygiene before I even started kindergarten. In any case, uh, maybe there, there's future predictions of another TP shortage. So they have touchless and other types of appliances like the bidet Touchless appliances like motion sensors for for lighting, bathroom accessories, smart temperature controls for bathroom floors, all of those are expected to be on the rise this year. Number seven, outdoor kitchen. Now we've already kind of talked about this in another episode in a little more detail, so I'll hit some highlights here. Uh, even with the vaccine, there's really no end in sight, so the outdoor kitchens are becoming more and more common. Because these are multi-season outdoor spaces, along with you know your, your fireplaces, your fire pits, deck, patio areas, or maybe even you have a, a screened in porch, all these have the potential to be used year round. And especially during 2020 and COVID, outdoor kitchens became more popular th than ever because this was the best way that you could still see your, your family maybe friends while still social distancing and i've seen outdoor kitchens i've seen some that were literally a two-story outdoor kitchen and i've seen some that simply added a a fridge with an area rug and dining area in in the backyard again with along with that two-story you could add or invest in some type of stovetop grill counter space, whatever other appliances to create that fully equipped outdoor kitchen. 
Number six, Next Level Playground. I don't know about you, 2020 took my cabin fever to a record high. It was great to get outside when I could, especially you know, during the early part of 2020 with having, having Chase home with me. Even though playgrounds were shut down, we had to get creative. Fortunately for me, he's a little bit older, more into sports and exercising. So for us in particular, there was a lot of baseball, football, basketball. We did some weightlifting. We did, we did a ton of bike riding and walking. But what about the families that rely on that equipment to burn their their children's energy or you know maybe they're a little bit younger and need that equipment to not just entertain themselves but give parents a, a little bit of a break as well. We've all been there and we've we've all had those. Totally get it. What you're going to see this year is more elaborate and custom playgrounds than ever before. This right now seems to be the hottest trend in a lot of areas because homeowners are going above and beyond just the standard swing sets that you that you buy at, you know, like Home Depot or Lowe's. <clears throat> Instead of just those those plain Jane swing sets, people are adding zip lines, adventure courses, think American Warrior Ninja or Ninja Warrior, whatever that show is. I I don't watch it, but yeah, whatever whatever that show is, um, that show. And climbing walls in their backyard as well. And that brings us to number five, wood grain kitchen cabinets and countertops. So changing the pace a little bit, now that we've spent some outside, let's go back inside. You're going to begin to see more we'll call them organic touches throughout kitchens. These are trending more to the minimalist style by adding the organic and natural materials. Wood grain right now seems to be the most popular and I don't know if it's because it connects people more with nature or they feel like they're more connected with nature. Uh, that just seems to be the top trend right now. And because of this, homeowners are getting away from painted cabinets, ditching the all-white kitchen that we've all seen and heard about, and embracing that natural wood look for uh, a lot of the cabinets and countertops. So they're replacing their painted cabinets with wood grain cabinets, countertops, even some kitchen islands as well. Number four on the list, Rattan Accents. Now, along with this, there are some trending houseplant options as well. Wait one, I will get to that. Like most kitchens are doing right now, there are natural materials trending huge with the Rattan Accents. These are appearing anywhere from simple drink holders throughout the house clear through bed frames. If you're unfamiliar with what a rattan material is, I'm, I'm with you there. So I actually had to look it up. The rattan is a pliable palm stem material and what it does is has more of a tropical look and feel to it. Uh, it's more more tropical than what you would picture a, a wicker uh, furniture to be. So if you want to try this trend for your for yourself to kind of give you that little staycation if you're not able to go anywhere, start start small. Remember these are accent pieces. So don't go don't go overboard with these. Just start small and accent a little bit at a time. I mentioned houseplants, which brings us to number three, houseplants and indoor gardens. Now the challenge here was people being able to get outdoors and get in touch with nature. Because the challenge of getting, getting outside, of course, depending on where you live, especially right now here in Kansas, it's like 29, 29 degrees, 
cloudy, rainy, it's a challenge to get, get outside on day, days like today. And for that reason, during 2020, many people began to bring their outdoor plants inside and that was a way for them to surround themselves with nature, you know, air quotes, nature. Unfortunately for many spouses who aren't plant people, like myself, uh, I mean, we have an abundance of, of plants everywhere in this house. It's, it's ridiculous. This indoor house plant trend is looking like it's here to stay. With the plants, just keep in mind that you need to do your homework before investing in them. Take into account the amount of natural light that they're going to be, what type of exposure they're going to have, and how often you're going to remember to water them. That one's probably the most important. Number two, clearly outlined spaces. How we all long for open floor plans pre-COVID. Well, why don't we take a moment of silence for those. Uh, I'm just joking. They're not obsolete quite yet. Homeowners are still trending towards closing off some of those wide open spaces because COVID, COVID has defined, redefined the living space trend. People are not only wanting cozy living space, they are also looking for areas that they can carve out for themselves. The trend right now is to create different living spaces within open floor plans. By doing this, you're creating pockets or nooks for businesses, uh, remote learning, lounging, and even exercising. I, I'm seeing this a lot in homes now uh, that, that I've started showing recently. It really started, <clears throat> I really started to notice it in the fourth quor quarter and that's what caught my attention because I realized I was taking for granted my home office that has a closed door. Chase does his remote learning in our spare bedroom and my workout area is in the basement. Not every homeowner or buyer has this option and that's why many new buyers are searching for homes with that separation and a little bit of need for their own space and privacy. Which brings us to our number one on the list. So just to go through these again, before we get to that number one, because we've covered a lot today. So the top 10 design trends for 2021, number 10 was cozy layered vibes, throwback of the hippie influence and simpler times. Number nine, retro furniture and color palettes, the mauve, forest green, burnt orange of the 70s, 80s are making comebacks, not just with paint, but with furniture as well. Number eight, smart bathroom innovation. Because of the great toilet paper shortage of 2020, yes, I still laugh every time I say that, it's crazy, people are beginning to get away from standard toilet paper and exchanging it for for a bidet or instead of you know having the faucets and soap dispensers you have to touch they have touchless options as well number seven outdoor kitchens because this was the best way to still entertain and see family members while being able to social distance by just creating an outdoor living space and outdoor kitchen area Number six, next level playgrounds. Because many of the playgrounds were closed, many still are closed, families that have, have the space are adding onto their existing swing sets or creating obstacle courses, zip lines, or even climbing walls just to get their kids a little more active. Number five, wood grain kitchen cabinets and counters. We are going away from you know that traditional white minimalist kitchen to more of a natural look and feel with natural wood wood grain cabinets and countertops. Number four, rattan accents. These are more of a, a tropical look and feel. Uh, just start start small with some accents 
and maybe going up to like a, a bed frame. Number three, indoor house plants. This is a way for us to still connect with nature even if we aren't able to leave, leave our home. So if you're in a, in a condo, apartment, and you're not able to get outdoors like, like some of the suburban families, then this is a way for you to still kind of connect yourself with nature. Number two, clearly outlined spaces. While we all love the open concept, because of working from home, schooling from home, there is more of a need for kind of closed or sectioned off space now more than ever. And that's what people are looking for and trying to do. And that brings us to the number one trend of 2021, dedicated home offices. Now, I'm sure we can all admit, myself included, that working from your kitchen table was okay for, you know, maybe like the first first few days, even first week. You probably thought it was, was less cool and less okay after weeks and possibly even months of still working from the kitchen table. And it's understandably why home offices tops the trends for 2021 now, now more than ever, because whether you're looking at adding or renovating a home office, homeowners don't want to take calls from the kitchen table anymore. Uh, depending on the acoustics, if you have remote learning going on, you know, it just adds a degree of difficulty. If you don't have a spare room <clears throat> to remodel or even convert into an office, there are plenty of ways to set up space and add your own touch and personality to it. The term that has been trending over the last several months is clawfish. I know, sounds sounds funny, but it's the combination of a closet and an office. Now, I haven't seen any of these myself, but I've been seeing plenty on Google as well as Pinterest of hallway closets that are transformed into offices. You'd be surprised how far a can of high gloss paint goes, wallpaper, if that's your thing, add a few shelves and boom, you got your own, you got your own home office. So that's it. Those are the top trends, home trends for 2021. I would love to hear from you guys, what you guys are seeing, what you guys have done yourself, or if you are new home buyers, what you're searching for as well in a new home or expecting in a new home. Love to love to hear from you guys. Make sure you drop it in the comments. That is going to wrap it up for me with the hot list. Again, I'm your host, Matt Johnson with Keller Williams Realty. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. Y'all have a phenomenal Thursday and I'll see you tomorrow for Red Friday.